an emotional vigil tonight for a man shot to death in a quiet Sherman Oaks neighborhood. Mondo Martinez was sleeping inside his car outside his brother's home when police say a neighbor took him for a crook and shot him. KCAL 9's Candace Crone has an update tonight on this heartbreaking and mysterious case. To have somebody just take matters into their own hands and freaking kill him is absolutely bizarre and insane to me and something that is so unforgivable. The nieces and nephews of 52-year-old Mondo Martinez were heartbroken as they reflected on the life of their uncle, a hardworking handyman who was gunned down in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood last week. Friends and family gathered for a candlelight vigil to remember him as a loving man who was full of life, which ended too soon. Authorities say the shooter, 39-year-old Army veteran Ethan Wall, told investigators when he spotted Martinez in a vehicle, he thought the victim was casing the neighborhood to burglarize a home. Wall confronted Martinez and shot him twice. I just want justice for my brother, and I want everybody to know that he was not a burglar. There is a lot of people here, and we really appreciate our family and our friends for coming out and supporting us. And it's been a hard and it's been taking a toll on our family. Relatives believe Martinez was in the area last week to visit his girlfriend and a friend. They say he didn't own a gun, even though police say they found two firearms at the scene. Detectives say one of the guns was used by the shooter. The other is being examined. Family members say they wanted to hold a vigil to remember their loved one for how he lived, not how he died. It just feels wrong for what happened to him. And if I could do anything, I would want him to come back and just take out the boat and just go fish one last time for old time's sake. Detectives arrested while on murder. He's been released on bail. Reporting in Sherman Oaks, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Larry Flint, the